Rather than focus on far more pressing problems, the outspoken atheist community feels far more content to bicker over what to call themselves half the time. I'm not talking about Richard Dawkins' embarrassing Brights movement, though that is part of it, in which noted evolutionary biologist Richard Dawkins became a PR consultant and tried to rebrand non-belief to make it more palatable. As surveys have demonstrated, the word atheist does carry a certain stigma, at least in the US, but attempting to play word games in order to avoid possible connotation is the sort of thing done only by the deceitful. Atheism, in particular, is about accepting the wrinkled front of reality, so attempting to smooth it with a new title is dishonest, self-defeating, and stinks the sort of underhanded sleight of tongue that theistic philosophers use. Worse still, skeptics referring to themselves en masse as bright is dripping with the sort of arrogance that would surely put people off and fortify the perception of atheists as elitist the 2006 survey by the University of Minnesota identified. Since the term bright fails at its purpose, its existence is ultimately redundant since atheism already has an ensemble of names, monikers and epithets that, besides some minor nuance, mean effectively the same thing. People may bicker over the effectiveness of its use, but no one disputes its core meaning. Where there is valid contention, however, is in differences between atheism and agnosticism. Valid though I call it, worthwhile it most certainly is not. Religious agnostics are, according to a dictionary definition, people who believe that the mysteries of the universe pertaining to God and the origin of the universe are unknown and unknowable. Far more subtle than simply not sure. I don't feel it's too big a leap to word it like this. Agnostics are people who do not believe in God. Listen to that carefully. I did not say that agnostics say there is no God, but it's since they are not theists and they do not have a belief in a God. Now let's look at atheists, people who disbelieve in the existence of God. Most intellectually honest atheists will openly grant they cannot prove that a supreme being of some sort does not exist and thus do not claim certainty in its absence. To say one knows there is no God is an untenable position since the non-existence of any particular thing is an unfalsifiable hypothesis. We can conclude then that atheists are people who do not believe in God. The confusion comes inevitably from the perception by some as atheists being people who claim certitude as the non-existence of God, and for a cocktail few this may be the case. But as we've discussed, most atheists agree that this is a flawed position to hold. In practical terms, therefore, atheism and agnosticism are as good as identical. The discussion is a valid one, but it quickly devolves into arguing over definitions, and since we're not a group or collective, this makes very little difference. The debate is a semantics game which, as we've seen, seldom reflects reality. Most atheists of this ilk will tell you that, strictly speaking, they are agnostic atheists. If atheist is taken in literal terms to mean someone who believes that there is no God, then the ingenuous majority who see the baseless rigidity of such a claim agree that the position they hold requires this qualifier of agnostic. The reason why most agnostic atheists don't refer to themselves as such is it's partially down to the verbosity of such a title, but mostly because, like atheism, agnosticism carries a connotation while it being unsure. And while it's true that atheists are not certain there is no god, they recognise that something can be said about an infinite number of potential deities. There might be a god, there might not be. There could be the elbow-horned grumble snitch, but one doesn't have to be agnostic about that. So the term atheist is, in its most commonly used form, a perfectly apt name. People argue over this triviality far more than they should, and inevitably someone will take issue with this video. My point is that ultimately it's an irrelevant detail. You can call yourself whatever you want, the point is we have far bigger problems at the moment. Regardless of your specific opinions or what label you give to them, we all share a common goal. We all work for the promotion of free thought, scientific inquiry. We all agree that dogmatic devotion to religious practices is dangerous and above all, we believe that we should be united by a shared humanity rather than segregated among sectarian lines. Why must we divide ourselves? When politicians stop trying to instigate religious morality and dogma as law, when gay couples can openly be so without fear of religious persecution, when pseudoscience is not trying to infiltrate schools, when religion has been emaciated to a quirky relic of a bygone age, only then can we have this conversation, not before.